Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, this is another uh, video going over another piece of my gym equipment. And uh, this one I got used. I have a couple of pieces. What the heck was that? I don't know. I have a couple of pieces in my arsenal that are used and this is one. I found this one on Facebook Marketplace, which we all find things on there. <clears throat> and uh, I had some back and forth with uh, whoever was on there, the husband or the wife, a couple of different times, just kind of conversating. And then eventually, a couple months later, I jumped on it. That's what she said. And uh, I had to drive a little ways to go get it, not a big deal. And it actually fit in my car. So uh, what we're going to talk today about, guys, is... Dun, 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 dun. The Smith Machine. Smith Machine in all of its glory. Now, what we're going to also talk about with this Smith Machine is, I don't know what kind it is. <coughs> I don't have a clue what kind this is. It didn't say in the description. It's just Smith Machine. Now, I can tell you this, that this is not a super cheap budget Smith machine. Uh, number one, because of how much it weighs. Number two, because <coughs> the little carriage deal here that runs on the guide rods, this does have ball bearings in it. And super low budget ones usually don't have ball bearings. To my knowledge, just from the little bit that I've looked up. So, and I'm not going to sit here and say this is gym quality. I have no idea. I am going to say that it is, again, very heavy. Was not easy uh, bringing it in and taking it apart and all that and putting it back together and all that by myself. That was not easy. Like, that's some thick metal. This piece right here, you can see, that's thick. Thick, we have the ball bearings down in there. We have welds. <clears throat> we have these with rubber ends on them. And there are several lockouts along the way. We have the safeties, which move like so. And the bar, of course, it turns. Oh, and it's heavy. Oh God. Whew. Anyway. More welds and the bolts. <coughs> and it does have weight horns on both sides. I don't use them because I don't have room. And uh, now, the, now these guide rods are scarred up and rusty. Uh, the guy had it sitting outside. He, they had it in their uh, firehouse, fire, you know, fireman's house, whatever. Uh, as part of their equipment and for some reason he got a new one they got rid of it or whatever and it was sitting outside in a one of his in a little flatbed trailer <clears throat> and the uh the guide rods are a little rusty and scarred up you probably can't see it but they are quite messy you know you can really see here Now, uh, I wish I knew what this was because I don't even know how to title the video. Uh, I do have a video where I went and picked it up and put it together. And uh, I do have a video on that that uh, I'll try to pop in here at the end. And uh, you can click on that and watch it. So uh, my assessment that I can give you, my little review I can give you on this Smith machine, I like it. It's definitely used. It's definitely got its problems. 
uh, and I would definitely 100% buy another Smith machine uh, easily. Now, what I would really like is a Smith machine that has both the Smith machine and a free weight option, and they do have those, and that is something that I'm actually kind of looking at. Now, I did get this for a really good price. I think he was asking maybe 175 or something like that. And I came back and I said, well, you know, uh, I'll come get it. Uh, we do 120 or 125, I think it was. And he said, yeah. So I went and picked it up. Nice people. He helped me take it apart and put it in my car and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, believe it or not, this fit in my car. <laughs> so <coughs> it does have a plastic sleeve, horn, whatever you want to call it. Um. <coughs> so, again, I wish that there was a way that I could give you a name on this, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, I just wanted to give kind of a update, a little review on it. I use it all the time for squats, for uh, deads, rack pulls, uh, flat bench, incline bench, uh, shoulder press. I use it for everything. Let me show you a little hack that I did. Oh, These look like common vice grips, right? Well, they also serve a purpose. Now, when I do this, having bad shoulders, um, this allows me to hold uh, whenever I do my squats, um, whenever I go to release it or whenever I go to uh, put it back on, <coughs> I just grab here and, boop, and rotate it. I don't have a lot of mobility in my shoulders, so it's hard for me to reach back and try to turn that. It's killing me. So I did that and they do have little arms and different things that you can buy for this sort of situation. And you could even make something yourself out of some metal and what have you. But I had this and I thought, hey, let me try that. And it works perfectly. So I use it all the time. Uh, I'd easily recommend a Smith machine to anyone who wants to add anything different to their routine or work out with a little more safety, a little bit more control. Um, you will have some people, uh, mostly your ignorant gym rats, that like to talk down about Smith machines. But what's funny is the most elite athletes in the world from track and field to uh, Olympia to strongman to everybody in the world, elite athletes use Smith machines, but yet it's not good enough for some of these little gym rats that have been led to believe that the only way you can get a real workout is using a complete free weight squat, you know, cage or half cage or whatever, uh, that these are junk. So unfortunately they're wrong. And fortunately you've got me to listen to and tell you that, uh, don't listen to idiots like that. These things are amazing and they open up uh, a whole different world, especially for people, uh, like myself who have, uh, chronic bad backs and it, it, my back's out every day and even one little wrong move and then I'm really out. So this allows me to do squats and safety. It allows me to do everything and I love it. And like I said, I do want to get a new one eventually that has the free weight option because some things I can do free weight and, and I need to, I'd like to. So anyway, kind of a quick little out, uh, outline out whatever, kind of a update on my Smith machine. <coughs> if any of you know what kind it is, please leave it in the comments because I don't have a clue. Uh, is it param Paramount or Parabody or Body Solid or York or, you know, any one of those, you know, type? I don't know. I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, I recommend a, a Smith machine. Uh, any, any of them, go try them out if you can. Uh, good stuff. So, uh, yeah, check out all my other videos, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoy these little videos and just kind of, uh, look at some of my gym equipment. 
I've already talked about the Titan compact hack press, the Titan high and low pulley, and now we're on the Smith machine. I have a couple more things that we'll do a video on. That we'll do a video on in a little bit. And uh, anyway, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Have a good day, guys. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!